Hello friend! My name is Marcy and in this video I am going to show you how I made a journal from regular paper using coffee as paint and a little pen to doodle. Let's get started! So here we're starting just by getting a piece of cardstock and folding it in half and then just get normal piece of paper, whatever papers you have. I find it that is really cool if you have just different type of looking paper. You can have craft paper, you can have line paper, dotted paper, plain all, um, printer paper and this really helps with the look of it by just giving it you know a variety of textures and backgrounds because later when we paint with it I mean in it you will find that it looks a little bit different and that makes it more appealing at least to me so now that you've seen that all the papers fit in there just cut a little bit around the edges to make them be inside the notebook a little bit better I like to have a little border around it like a normal book will have um, but I just make it a little bit bigger I feel like it frames but it frames it better and I really like that so then I just took a normal um, needle one of the thick ones and poked three holes and then started threading from outside and then up to the next hole and then down to the other hole and then just in the middle pull it on the other side of the original little knot you had and then you just pull tight make a little knot and you're good to go you can also do it starting from the inside so that the nut is in the inside but I find it that what I use the journal uh, for it's writing in it so I didn't want the nut inside of it so it's up to you once the entire thing it's assembled then you just need to cut where you need to cut and round the corners if you need to rip if cutting is not your thing just make it so cool that you like it then you just protect your space and go at it I started just by wetting two of the corners with the coffee drying it a little bit and letting it be coffee has a way to make its magic and I love all the textures it makes and I really enjoy saying how cool um, the way it dries, you know, how cool it makes all these brush strokes and shapes. And I really like that. So um, I cheat a little bit by drying it with my heat tool. So if you don't have one, you can probably use um, a hair dryer on low, but I've never done that really. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But I've heard people that have done it and they've been fine, nothing, you know, got fired. <laughs> so now I'm doing some circles and these are gonna be um, for just adding a little bit of detail in this corner because I felt like I had a lot of coffee on the left. So to balance it out, I, you know, did something on the, the opposite corner. Sorry about that. Um, now I am just making a big circle, trying to make it like a big sun in the middle because I like that one of the sides has dots in it and the other one doesn't. So kind of get in the sun in between the two worlds, right? Now just a simple line and I'm trying to make a bunch of rocks on the side. Um, just splotches as you saw here and then I'm giving it texture by just dupping, you know, dotting with the brush. Oh my god, I'm running out of words today. Not just two big blobs, and no, it's not a coffee snowman. <laughs> it's 
blobs to big blobs and over here I'm trying to sketch a little bunny um, I use this kind of kitchen towel sometimes because I don't want the paint or the coffee to go and wet my other pages so I'm just using it to cover the back in some of the pages where I think I might go over the edge of the paper that way I'll protect the other ones so sometimes I use it sometimes I don't just me and my weirdness <laughs> now you can see that I'm already giving the little bunny some shading to the left on the ears and I have no idea about shading but I thought giving a little bit darker um, area on the ears will be fun same as on the butt area I left some white spaces and over here I'm trying to do bees and I think it was bees or stars I can't remember now okay these are stars I'm sorry I'm making some little stars and then I'm trying to get like a scenery going on and do a little house and then just kind of like a little cottage in the middle of nowhere and see how I put the little towel on, on the bottom part like behind the paper so I wouldn't wet it because I went over the edge so use a towel as you think is best for the coffee I find that if you think you made a mistake when it dries then just reactivate it but using a little q-tip or a napkin just wet it in normal water and put it on top of it and it will take the color away so it's very forgiving if you feel like you made a mistake but this is just playing around and feeling the freedom while you're doing this these are gonna become trees believe it or not and the left ones on here are the bees <laughs> or wasp or whatever you want them to be okay here I'm just roughly sketching a little palm leaf and decided just to go over the whole thing and then give it texture or not texture but like shape with my pen later on and here just more beachy kind of style leaves this I think I was inspired by a monstera plant I find those really really pretty don't worry too much about perfection because like I said my style is pretty much freedom and go as I feel so if you feel like you're a perfectionist maybe this is not for you or maybe you just practice a little bit more and then you can get it perfect but for me nothing is perfect actually the more mistakes I make the more I learn and the more I experiment the better I get at it and not to say that by practicing you're gonna get perfect, but by practicing you're gonna learn how to make it more your style. And your inner critic is your worst enemy. So try to just think of this as a different method of meditation or relaxation and just let go of any fear. Nobody's gonna see these except all the YouTube people <laughs> that I'm watching right now. But um not all of my stuff that I do I put on YouTube and if I put on YouTube I still feel free making it so if you don't like my style it's okay nobody likes everything and just try to find your own style of making it I'm playing with it obviously so you saw my rainbow and now I'm just not even using a pencil to sketch this just trying to imagine some leaves and put them on the paper with my coffee.
I don't even know what kind of plant this is. So if you know what plant this might be, let me know in the comments. I truly only just go with the flow. And now on this side, I was inspired by Cece. Um, she's another YouTuber here and she does watercolor and she doodles on top of them. So I just make six little splotches and I'm gonna doodle on top of those. I do a lot of making splotches and doodling on top of them. I really like how doodles take my mind to another place and I feel sane. So, I don't know, Cece's videos are really cool if you're feeling stuck. And I will link her channel below so you can go check it out if you don't know who I'm talking about. And now, I'm working on this hedgehog or porcupine or whatever you want to call the little guy. But I sketch first. And then because I sketch like roughly with like a bunch of lines and really dirty looking, then I take a piece of clear copy paper, you know, the, the one that you just saw on the video, and I do like the perfect lines from my sketch. And then I keep that little piece of tracing paper so that I have the same little drawing if in case I want to use it again and I don't have to sketch it. So kind of like I just whatever pieces I really, really love, I just save. The rest I discard. So yeah, this one I really end up loving. And don't feel afraid to use your fingers too. So, now this is my last page and I just didn't want to leave it blank, so I just made this little, I forgot what they're called right now. You blow on them and then they go everywhere. Um, oh well, I forgot, but whenever I'm done with it, I'm sure you can imagine what they are. They're just floating around my place right now. I guess they're like spring stuff kind of plant. But anyways. Now for the really fun part. Pick a page, grab a gel pen or a, just a pen and start doodling around. Um, get your imagination to really be free. And again, not perfect, just fun, liberating. It's it's supposed to be freedom. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I honestly just go with the flow and use my stuff and sometimes I forget to mention, you know, what I'm using. But I love my Micron, so that's what I'm mainly using here, just different thickness. And this is a Uniball white gel pen. I try to give the impression of light for the little windows. And now, here are my stars. And for the other side, I just honestly did some lines and call it a day. Here you can see how my doodles on the grass are going. This is how I do them. Just make them fast. I'm not even thinking about them. Yeah, I'm slowing it down so you can see it. That's it. That's my grass. <laughs> Pretty simple, huh? Have you ever tried painting with coffee? If you have and you've learned something from it, share with me. I'm happy to learn with you. I find that this creative community is so cool. You guys are so great. I mean, there's just help and imagination and everybody sharing tips with everybody kind of flow that I love. 
here I'm back to my bunny just adding a little bit of lines to kind of look like hair my little hairy bunny and then here's my two splotches that look like a little snowman but this one is just a plant I really like plants believe it or not I was a plant killer and now I make macrame and hand them all over my place okay those cuts were a little bit weird I'm sorry and for those of you who know me I really like the beach and everything coastal so palms and everything that feel feels a little bit beach like <laughs> I love and guys please go easy on me this one is my first voiceover and um, quarantining with the kids and staying at home it's kind of hard to find a moment to actually record so hopefully this is not too noisy or too loud or and if it is and if you find something that it's not cool with you please let me know we can only get better together right now I know that I'm not looking for perfect but I am not looking for an eyesore either. So whenever I don't like something because I find it too dark or that it doesn't go with the whole thing, like this plant over here, I find it really dark for the page, then don't feel bad if you need to cover the mistake with a little pocket or a piece of paper that you ripped or whatever. I'm sharing here that I made this and I didn't like it so I ended up covering another way so that I still see the black but it's not as harsh for your eyes and now with my little CC inspired little pocket I speed it up a little because this took me a little bit it was very relaxing by the way if you want to try it if you feel stuck creatively speaking this is a good exercise just do splotches and doodle on top of them I promise it's very very relaxing and because it's freeing you don't need to be harsh on yourself it's all about the process right and then when you have your end result you're proud of it and if you do something different in every little thing or splotch, it will look super cool. So here I am again with another beachy scenery. Okay, now this one is my favorite from the whole book. Um, I love doing animals. I'm not good at them, but I love them anyways. So I just make them. And I learned one thing or two. So, ain't he cute? He's adorable. I just want to squish it. Let's call him Henry. No, no, Henrietta. Yeah. Inspired by one of the series I'm actually trying to watch this month. She's a firefighter. If you know what show I'm talking about, let me know because I really like it. Okay, now for the bees, I have a little trick. If you do little lines behind them, like intermittent lines, then they look like they're flying. So you can either do them or not, but you know, just an interesting little tip there for you. Now my rocks. I really don't care about these rocks much, so I'm gonna go back to them later. Over here I didn't know what to do, so I just went with this weird looking closed up little flower buds. So, but I really like how everything turned out. 
What do you like best? Do you like flowers or do you like animals or just abstract? I'm curious to know. And back to the rocks. I just decided to do some little flowers too here. Proving that anything can, can grow from in between the rocks. See how ugly that is? It looks beautiful when I'm done with everything. At least to me. It already looks pretty, so... This is great to do in your bujos too, if you have a bullet journal and you feel stuck. You don't have any materials. You don't have to spend a lot of money to do something pretty or something cool and artistic. This is just coffee and fine line pens. I mean, it's not that much. Regular paper, printer paper. For your journals, for a little reading card, for a note that you leave for someone at work just wishing them a good day. Think about the possibilities with this. They're endless. Hey, Mother's Day is coming up. Maybe a coffee theme kind of Mother's Day card or just a coffee paint Mother's Day card. Wouldn't that be original and cool, huh? I find these little crosses make like a super cute detail. There you go. Now, let's see how this changes a little bit with the lines. Now I have flying bees. They feel kind of grounded now, kind of like they have a purpose. And I'm loving this rainbow too. I'm pretty much into rainbows lately. And anything earth tone, I'm sold. Now that I'm almost done, which one is your favorite drawing? What technique or what kind of doodle do you like the best? And if you do try them in your journals, please share it with me. You can tag me on Instagram. It's the same as my channel, which is at Mix It Up Marcy. And that's my email too. Mix It Up Marcy at gmail.com. So you, if you don't have Instagram or you're too shy to share them there, just send me an email. I would really love to see what you create. And you can also drink your paint. <laughs> now for the front page, I made this little pocket. And more crosses just to tie it up together with all the doodles. They're cute. Now, I made this and I didn't like it, but I didn't want to delete it because I wanted to show you that, you know, even though I'm not going for perfect, I already had a rainbow in this page and it looked repetitive to me. It was bugging my eye. So I just discarded that and got something else to put it there. So there you go. This is what I had in hand because of the little hedgehog I had before. So just dried it up a little bit and it was good to go. He made the little plant note too dark and he made a nice little pocket for me to stick extra notes or just quotes or whatever I decide to do when I'm using my journal. See there, it's black but not too black. Perfect. 
Now I'm just tying up loose ends, <laughs> like gluing my pockets shut. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you a full journal flip through. For the cover, I have in a specific video, so I'll link that below. But here's how everything turned out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you give it a like, that's a big compliment for my channel. And also subscribe. This will help me grow and share more of my artsy little crafts with the world. Thanks for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for any background noise. Thank you so much for understanding and have an amazing day. Bye friend, till the next time. Thank you.